Tide's got a big problem. And there is Dalton Sargent. More issues for the 25. See, the left run is down. I wonder if that was from that contact with Todd Gillen. That's who he made contact with that we showed, uh, showed it on replay. That's a strong possibility. We saw that last week with Matt Crafton. Well, and that is a big blow for Dalton Sargent, who was 10th in the playoff standings and uh, trying to get his way into the top eight to make the playoffs. And he's also in a rookie of the year battle with Myatt Snyder. So early issues for Dalton Sargent in all likelihood going to put an end to his night. Yeah, he hit the ball hard. That truck's hurt. Now watch after. Yeah, that left run is already yeah, flat. Yeah. He realizes it when he gets down in the corner, turns the steering wheel to try to come around the corner and the truck wouldn't turn. And as we will look at a replay uh, here in just a moment of, of the four of Gilliland again making contact with the 25 of Sargent. Uh, when we show this here, watch the crease just above the left front tire after this contact here. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good body slam right there from Gilliland into Sargent. And that crease just above that left front is what created the rub and then eventually that left front blown out. And then that. Yeah, just along for the right at that point. He got down in the corner. That tire went down. Absolutely nothing Dalton could do. So a tough situation for the 20 year old from Boca Raton, Florida, Dalton Sargent is out. And remember last week, Stuart Friesen and Matt Crafton, there's Crafton in that neon 88. They had a little bit of contact and that created a rub on the left front of Crafton. And then that was the result. Not unlike what we just saw from the 25 of Sergeant. Almost exactly the same thing. Several good trucks got taken out in this situation here. John Hunter Nemechek had a, had a great truck. It knocked him out of the race. Stuart Friesen, a great truck. He was able to survive and finish up with a top 